oh my god the lighting was right and the mood was perfect eugenia asked margo if she wanted to go steady margo just entered into an exclusive relationship with eugenia bachelor the moment where eugenia became her girlfriend is one she'll always remember that is so cute <gasps> Hello everybody and welcome back to Rags to Riches Ultimate Difficulty Edition. But anyway, we are back here at the meager household. Now, speaking of previous episodes, I spoke about potentially investing in some businesses around town and one of you lovely viewers actually said, why not just invest in both? And I think that's a great idea. I'm pretty sure we would get paid on Monday for everything. So maybe Maybe we should just do it. We will invest in both of those today. <laughs> I'm feeling like it's the right thing to do. So we're going to do that. Molly's just going to have some breakfast and then we will just do it. And in the meantime, we'll have Margot come out here to the winter festival and she can come and build her igloo that she is absolutely dying to build. Oh, it's because she loves the cold. That's why she's just wanting, she's so desperate to build everything like snowmen and igloos and do all that stuff. So she'll have the best time here at the festival. I also realized that Margot can consign stuff. So I'm pretty sure that we can actually do this like really well if we make her sell some of this stuff as well and get her get her on it, so to speak. So I think I'll have her build her igloo and then she can come here to the consignment store and she can now sell stuff. I don't know if she would have been able to as a kid. I doubt it. But nonetheless, she's going to get on it too because I think that's just going to maximize our ability to sell stuff. Let me just quickly check what exactly Molly has in her inventory. She has three paintings actually, which is pretty good and they've all appreciated in value. Now, I don't know if it's more sensible for us to let these appreciate some more or what we should do, but I don't know. So this morning, Molly's just decided to paint a little bit and now we're just going to make our way to the consignment store. Um, I will put up the dryer and I think that's it. I don't think we really have anything else. Um, yeah, I'll just consign the dryer. That should hopefully be enough for today. Okay, but now that Molly has eaten her breakfast and stuff, we're gonna come here and become partners in both the grocery store and the bookstore. I actually can't believe this is happening. This is so much money that we're spending on this. Like, it's a little bit scary actually. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but I think it's the right thing to do. I will also most likely get them a car soon because they probably can't afford it but I will probably do it when they get their payouts from the first investment um, payout what, what's it called what is it called <laughs> anyway <gasps> I can't believe it congratulations Molly is now a partner at Everfresh Delight supermarket she is now entitled to a share of the profits which she can pick up weekly at Everfresh Delight supermarket of course if she bought out the other partners she would get even more money and have additional control over the place I mean mean maybe down the line who 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 knows never say never and now molly's in the bookstore becoming a partner in that as well how exciting okay and now that this is done we are just gonna head home and paint some more because i mean why the heck not <laughs> we really need to get a full roster of these paintings done and yes okay 1900 so we sold the evil gnome and the dryer as well so that's good we made almost 2,000 which is great and we still have 9,000 left over but our net worth has increased to 40,364 and that is because we are now part owners in the grocery store and the bookstore which is super great and hopefully soon we will have the funds to fully own both of those establishments and yeah I'm just super excited I actually have an idea for what we are gonna do once we get to the weekend in the game but first we just have to make it there so in the meantime i just think these sims are gonna work on their skills and stuff so margo's in the library working on her chess skill and molly is painting 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 <laughs> she's now what level is she she 
she's level eight, almost nine in the painting skill, which I'm honestly surprised that her paintings don't actually make more. And this is crazy because I was literally, so what I was alluding to about the weekend was that I really want to make these Sims travel to friends. And this came up. So you know what we're going to do? We are going to head on over to the library. I don't know why it says one of your books because correct me if I'm wrong, we've never written a single book. No, we've not even read a book. <laughs> So I don't know what this is about. However, I'm sure if we come to the library, we will be more than capable of writing uh, whatever novel. Let's just do a fiction novel and we'll just, you know, write one real fast and <laughs> do that. And then we can deliver that through press because we're going to do that anyway. Um, but that's crazy. That's an insane thing to have happen. I was literally trying to like be all like, ooh, like we'll do something on the weekend and it's, you know, different and a surprise. And then that popped up. Up. So anyway, the cat's out of the bag. We're gonna travel to France. Now, I wanted to see if there was a reward trait or something that makes it so that we are able to travel for cheaper. Yes, jet setter for 5,000 points, trip and traveling prices are reduced for Sims with this reward. We're gonna get it. Honestly, that's a bargain. For 5,000 reward points, that's like nothing. But yeah, we're just gonna have Molly just absolutely knock out this book so that we can deliver it to France. ASAP and uh, yeah, then we'll get visa points and simoleons and I really hope that it'll be a hefty sum because this is a lot of effort for this opportunity. Like, I don't, I don't know. It better pay off. Let me put it that way. It's a fiction book. We're gonna call it The Rags to Riches Tale. So tomorrow actually is Margot's prom and if you missed it in the last episode, her friend Eugenia actually invited her to go to prom with her. Margot at least currently is straight so I don't know what exactly is the situation with Eugenia but I don't know could there be something there who knows I don't know but they are going to prom together which is so cute I actually think Margot is so pretty like I can't even believe how pretty she is I'm like genuinely stunned like I think this is one of the prettiest sims that's ever been born in game for me she's just so stunning Molly and Connor's genetics just really popped off for real back at the library Molly is still typing out her book. It is a lot of work for sure. She's hard at work. Look at her. What an amazing lady. Okay, so Molly is officially too tired to finish the book, but I think that she'll be able to finish it tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it is 5 a.m. I didn't even realize I had her write it until she physically just wouldn't do it any longer, which is awful. I feel so bad for her. Oops. But I just really want it done so that on Saturday morning, we can head on over to France, turn in this book and just, you know, get this thing done, you know? And just as Molly went to sleep, Margot is now waking up. I'll have her shower and then have some cereal for breakfast and she'll have school. And then later today, she'll go to her prom, which is so exciting. I love it when they go to prom. I just, I really do. It is beyond interesting to see like whatever happens at prom with them and like all that stuff. It's just so cool. I love that. It's one of the best features that they ever put into the game. I just love it so much. So Molly really needs a human interaction and I saw this thing that says a really loud introduction and I want to see what this is. What is a really loud? <laughs> oh my god. Yelling at the poor guy's face. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before so that's fun. But yeah, she just really needs to talk to somebody. So this is Gilberto Keaton. So I guess that's the Keaton's kid and she's just going to talk at him for a little bit because she is just very much in need of talking to somebody, I guess, <laughs> before she heads to the library, of course, obviously. Oh, she wants to sign up for another after school activity. Margot is honestly such a studious kid. Like she is always doing her homework. She wants to excel. She wants to meet a nerd. She's so cute. Oh, and she's hoping that they'll become a partner at a third business as well. She's, you know what? She's so right. That's so valid. And we probably will. I'll just have to decide what business and when and where and I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. She got this moodlet, brilliant megaphonist. Molly is a first rate practitioner of the noisy arts. A recent bout of megaphone ownage has her pumped up from social 
visualization. I didn't even realize that she got that from from that interaction. I've never seen that before. I it must be because she's the level two rebel or something. I don't know. Never seen that before. That's actually pretty fun. So anyway, the prom is soon. Very exciting. Cannot wait. So she's almost done with her book. We're almost there. So we can go to France first thing on Saturday morning. And to be honest, truth be told, another reason why I really want to go is so I can have Molly and Margot both find some relics and stuff that are really, really valuable and sell them at the consignment store. Oh my gosh, and Molly finished her book. 99 pages of heart-pounding adrenaline. The rags to riches tale have just exited Molly's hard drive and are on their way to the publisher. Molly is hoping the book is better than How to Spin Blades, the current darling of the literary world. Molly will receive six royalty payments of 45 simoleons. Payments will received on Sunday at 12 p.m. That's excellent news. Look at us. Okay, so I believe it is now time to go to prom. Hello. So this is her formal wear. Oh my god, she's looking so cute. I mean, she must be absolutely freezing, but still, how cute. Oh my goodness. Have fun at prom. Oh my gosh. Margot Meager just went to prom. This is a huge moment in a teen's life and she will remember it forever. I am sure. Now we'll see what ends up happening with her at prom. Hopefully only nice things. Sometimes they were like getting their ass kicked and stuff. So I hope none of that takes place tonight because she really deserves to have a good night, I think. And Molly is just vibing. She's reading a book. Actually, let's have her go home and paint because I think she'll get fun out of that. Oh my God, the lighting was right and the mood was perfect. Eugenia asked Margot if she wanted to go steady. Margot just entered into an exclusive relationship with Eugenia Bachelor. The moment where Eugenia became her girlfriend is one she'll always remember. That is so cute. Oh my god, they've gone from like childhood besties to now being girlfriends. That is so cute. Oh my god, I'm like freaking out. This is so cute. So I guess when we had Molly ask Margot what her gender preference was, she said straight, but maybe that was one of those things where she felt like awkward telling her mom that, oh my god, Margot was talking to her friends and Eugenia creeped up behind her snuck in their first kiss. This is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> This is like s melting my heart. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Like I'm literally, you guys, this is the cutest thing ever. Maybe she just didn't like feel ready or whatever to tell Molly, but now she's in this relationship. It's so cute. This is honestly the sweetest thing ever. I can't believe it's happening. I'm so happy for her. And Margot was named queen of the prom. She never cried so much in her teen life. Oh, happy day. Oh my God, she's having the best prom. I'm so happy happy for her. <laughs> She's having the best time just like she deserves. Eugenia revealed that she likes Margot a lot. Margot was so happy that she couldn't wipe the smile off her face. Margot is really charming Eugenia. She hasn't left her side the entire evening. Wow, Margot really made a good impression on Eugenia with some epic dance moves. Time to head home. The dance is over and curfew is around the corner. Don't forget to check your prom pictures located in your personal inventory. Now, let's see. Um, let's turn the light on in here. Um, I think I'll put their prom picture picture up on the wall here. Oh, I can't. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Why can't I put it on the wall? What's going on? Wait, where did it go? <gasps> what? Where did the prom picture go? Oh my god, I swear to god. I don't know where it went. Oh my god. Where did the picture go? I'm devastated. Oh my god. I'm devastated. I am literally devastated. Where the hell did the picture go? <laughs> I'm so upset. The picture just vanished. What? Has this ever happened to any of you guys? Oh my god, tell me. Because like, what the fuck? <laughs> where did it go? Oh my god. We lost the picture. We lost. It's official. We lost the picture. That's so infuriating. Oh my god, okay. Well, that has really made me upset because we didn't even get to see the picture. What the hell? Like, where did it go? I don't understand. But I mean, I'm glad she had a good time at prom at least. I'm really happy for her. I'm really, really glad. And I guess we'll head over to France in the morning and I will catch up with you guys then. But oh my gosh, I'm really upset about it. But I put her prom queen uh, tiara thing on her dresser over here. But what the fuck? I can't believe our picture 
just went missing. I literally, this is so weird. That's never happened to me before. Okay, well, we'll have to go to like a photo booth or something and take a picture together. And that'll hopefully rectify the situation. I mean, I prefer the photo booth pictures anyway to like the prom pictures, but that's a little bit upsetting. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning when we are getting ready to go to France. So first thing that Molly wants to do this morning is talk to Margot. I guess she's like, well, you were happy when you came home from prom last night. What happened? Like, how did it go? Like, you seemed very chipper. And yeah, I think it's just time for them to have, you know, a little conversation about, you know, everything that took place. And I am excited to go to France. And Molly is in the snow with her bare feet because why not? And I'll have Margot share a secret with her mom and that'll be kind of my way to simulate her telling her about Eugenia and she's like you know I just never saw this coming and you know she's just like I'm so happy mom like I have a girlfriend now wait did she just turn her down <gasps> oh <laughs> they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they um, okay, let's just pretend like she's like, yay, she, she's really happy for her and all this stuff and she accepts her daughter, obviously, just as the way she is. Editing Tawny here, uh, I don't think I really explained my thought process with this that much and I just thought I would kind of explain what I think happened here. I think Molly just at first was a little bit shocked or something. It's not great, but I think when I, I would like to think that Margot told her like no like seriously like I really like this girl and she was like okay okay like I am supportive I think maybe Molly is just somebody who's like super conservative or something I don't know she doesn't really strike me as that honestly but I was really shocked that she was she kind of took it the wrong way so I don't know um but I don't think that Molly would like actually be hateful towards her daughter so she seemed to take it like well uh when she kind of explained it more you know in depth and stuff but yeah I just thought I would kind of go into my thought process about this so I don't think they're like in an argument or in like bad on bad terms or anything but I do think that they it could have gone better but yeah anyway we are gonna travel now we are going to travel we are gonna go to France it's gonna cost 1775 I will see you guys once we land in France so we are in <laughs> friends you guys we are here um did we just fulfill our opportunity with the with the book did we do it i guess we did it okay so <laughs> we are in beautiful beautiful france today and something i did before we went on our vacation i packed us sleeping bags because of course when we are going to be here we're probably going to be raiding some tombs and we might have to sleep down there so you know how it goes i don't know exactly how much money we got from that book it didn't seem like we got any money but i don't know <laughs> if we didn't get any money from that i'm gonna be so freaking mad but i really don't know what i was supposed to do with that i guess that was it i guess we just traveled here and uh fulfilled that so i suppose it wasn't that much money but that's fine in this episode i won't go into like the whole friends trip that much margot is out here on the side of the road streaming video on her phone she's probably honestly like video chatting eugenia or something because she's just so missing her girlfriend they just got together you know it's young love so you know how it goes it's difficult for them to be apart yeah i think i'll end this episode here in the next episode we will raid some tubes she didn't she was not impressed with that she said sweet just like up any other nectar of course um, but yeah, in the next episode, we will raid some tombs and do all that good stuff and hopefully find some expensive shit so that, that we can take it home and sell it. And I know how that sounds, but this is, it's just for fun. Okay. I don't support doing that. <laughs> I feel like I need to make that disclaimer. I do not support doing that in real life. Never go on holiday and steal ancient things and then sell them when you get back home. Okay. Okay. But we will do that because it's necessary for us in the context of this game so anyway <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and i will see you next time in the next video bye